Time now for the morning rush. We start with Kristen Curry. Good morning. Looking at a mostly sunny sky throughout the day today. No rain, no snow to worry about. Our temperatures will be just fine as we're seeing widespread 60s and 70s. A little bit breezy at some portions of the state today. I mean, even this morning we're seeing that Albuquerque wind, but it does not look to last all day. Sarah. Thousands are making their way through Nambe as they continue their pilgrimage to El Santuario de Chimayo. It's an important journey for the faithful from throughout New Mexico and even the country as they walk for prayer, reflection and sacrifice. It's been a tradition for nearly 200 years. Tens of thousands of faithful travel many distances to get there, each with his or her own unique reason for making the trek, all to collect the holy dirt, which is said to have healing properties. What officials are asking programs to do to stay safe coming up in the five facts. All right, thank you, Sarah. Along those lines, while some make the walk to Chimayo, hundreds of others are hitting the pavement for the two-mile hike to the top of Tomea Hill in Valencia County. Many walk to keep promises they've made to God, while others spend the time praying for loved ones and asking for forgiveness for their sins. The annual tradition began years ago with the penitentes as a way to make penance for their sins. This morning, many continue that custom as a part of Holy Week. And stay with KRQB all morning long as we continue to follow the pilgrimages to both El Santuario de Chimayo and Tomé Hill for a list of road closures, maps, and pictures. You can head to krqe.com and check out our KRQE News app. New at 6, Russia has tested its new intercontinental ballistic missile for the second time. The country's defense ministry is tweeting about it. The missile was first unveiled in March by President Vladimir Putin. Putin says it can reach any point in the world and can carry nuclear warheads. And the news comes as we learn this. 60 American diplomats now have less than a week to leave Russia. The Kremlin ordered them out after 60 of its own diplomats were expelled from the United States. The U.S. action was in response to a nerve agent attack on a former Russian spy and his daughter in England. And in other news back here in New Mexico, a man's police say crashed his SUV with his infant daughter inside while trying to get away is waking up in jail. 20-year-old Antonio Barrera is allegedly said to have scraped the side of a woman's car, causing him to lose control and flip his SUV several times. Desiree Gavaldon and her daughter ran to help and saw two men ejected from the SUV, along with a woman in the back seat clutching a loose car seat. The baby, Barrera, and the SUV's two other passengers were taken to UNM Hospital. No word this morning on how the baby is doing. Happening now, the Attorney General is warning you not to fall victim to the latest Facebook scam. The tech company has come under fire over reports it gave away personal data from about 50 million Facebook users. Hector Valdez, the state's Attorney General, says scammers are calling New Mexicans pretending to be Facebook and offering to help them secure their accounts. The caller then asks for your subscriber information and can hack your account if it's given to them. And out of Durango happening now, a Durango High School freshman is recovering in the hospital this morning after falling 40 feet off of a bridge. According to the Durango Herald, 15-year-old Wiley Cora and his family were on a ski trip in Salt Lake City over the weekend when they were crossing a pedestrian bridge. Now, Wiley accidentally went off the side and fell onto the road below. His father tells the Herald Wiley suffered brain damage and is still unconscious. Happening today, a public hearing is being held in Santa Fe on proposed administrative rules. New Mexico, New Mexico Secretary of State Maggie Toulouse Oliver will host the hearing on the three proposed rules. One will outline procedures for candidates transferring funds between finance accounts. Another rule will establish and clarify ballot order issues and make procedures for provisional voting uniform statewide. The hearing begins at 9. You can watch a live stream of it on the Secretary of State's website. Kristen. Today's Metro Threat Index only at a 1. Talking breezy conditions at times. Those winds 10 to 15 miles per hour out of the southwest. So it's not going to be anything major. Warm temps and lots of sun overhead. David? New at 6, scientists may be on track to develop a treatment for West Nile virus, which is spread by mosquitoes. A team from Yale, Yale University found the therapy delivered through the noses of mice was effective in reducing the virus in the brain and allowing the immune system to destroy the disease. Researchers will study the therapy to further see if it's just as effective in humans. Those are some types of uh, t today's health uh, stories. And happening now and new at 6 for the fourth time in history, the Mega Millions jackpot has surpassed the half billion dollar mark. It's now up to an estimated 502 million. The next drawing is set for tonight. Kristen. 
Time now for a check on traffic. Nothing major out there when it comes to crashes or incidents. We're looking pretty good right there at the Big Eye. I'll keep eyes on that for you. Just a reminder, heads up for those pilgrims walking uh, up towards Chimayo and Tome Hill this morning. Now to a video getting a lot of attention this morning. Dance for your grade. Huh? A Kaiser University professor in Florida has a simple rule. If you're late, you have to bust a move. If you don't dance, it will lower your participation grade. The student who filmed this video says he had the professor before, so he knew he would be late and he prepared his moves beforehand. Wow. Wanting to show him off. Why not? And it's be late at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right, time now for the five facts. We start with number five this morning. The family from Michigan that got stuck in an elevator at the Carlsbad Cavern says they're still planning to head back to the cave as soon as possible. They were trapped for three hours, more than 700 feet below ground with just one bottle of water and no food. They say they were impressed with the rescue crew's inspection of the elevator that stalled showed that a worn cable, which sends signals to the elevator controls, caused the problem. That elevator will remain out of commission until the cable can be repaired. At number four today, Mayor Tim Keller will likely go over his proposed budget for the next fiscal year. The Keller administration says the operating budget prioritizes public safety. The mayor is also expected to outline programs for children that will help make Albuquerque safe. Keller's budget will then be submitted to the city council for consideration. At number three, warm and sunny today. And we're going to continue that this weekend, but increasing cloud cover Saturday, Sunday. No rain or snow expected. At number two this morning, a family from Germany is asking the public's help after being burglarized while stopping in Albuquerque. The Merman family says their RV was broken into after they stopped for lunch at Denny's on the west side. The thief took a pump that helps feed their seven-year-old daughter who has special needs. The thieves also stole their phones, passports, and travel vouchers they need for the trip home. Now they're hoping someone sees the story and will return their daughter's pump. If you have any information about this, call Crime Stoppers at 843-STOP. And at number one, thousands are hitting the pavement for the annual pilgrimages across the state. People will be walking to both the Tome Hill and El Santuario de Chimayo. This morning, officials are asking those walking to Chimayo to be safe. NMDOT says they've closed off the right lane on US 84, but they are also asking people to wear reflective clothing or gear so drivers can see them. They also ask drivers to keep a watchful eye on the road and the people.